the wise words of the Buddha, he taught us that anger doesn't punish others, it punishes ourselves. But how can we find peace within, especially when life throws challenges our way? Let's journey into the timeless teachings of Buddhism and learn how to cultivate inner calm. Firstly, let's talk about listening. The Buddha said we should listen twice as much as we speak. This isn't just about hearing words, it's about truly understanding what's behind them. When we listen deeply, we connect with others on a profound level. Understanding leads to forgiveness and compassion, creating empathy and harmony in our interactions. By listening more and speaking less, we not only improve our relationships, but also enhance the quality of our own thoughts and words. This practice extends beyond human conversations. It involves listening to nature, silence, and the unheard voices around us. Through deep listening, we gain wisdom and a broader perspective on life. So let's embrace the art of listening. By doing so, we unlock a universe of understanding, connect with others and ourselves, and grow in compassion and wisdom. Don't let others' comments and attitudes rule your life. Picture your life as a unique journey, like wandering through a beautiful forest. Along the way, you'll meet people with their own ideas, just like signposts in the woods. The wise Buddha once said, stay present, don't dwell on the past or dream of the future. This means focus on now, like paying attention to the trail when hiking. The lesson here, find your own path without getting lost in others' thoughts. People might offer advice or judge your choices. While considering advice is fine, remember, your journey is yours. Just like you wouldn't let someone else pick your hiking trail, don't let others decide your life's direction. Follow your heart and values, stay true to yourself, and make choices that feel right. By doing so, you steer your own life, regardless of others' opinions. Walk your unique path confidently and authentically. Be prepared for life's ups and downs. It's like a river, sometimes calm, sometimes wild. Buddha wisely said, pain is certain, suffering is optional. This means while we can't avoid challenges, we can choose how to react. Life's like waves, some small, some huge. Accepting the worst doesn't mean expecting it all the time. It's like having a life jacket handy. Mentally preparing for challenges shields us from unnecessary suffering. When life throws curveballs, our acceptance acts as a buffer. We may feel pain, but we don't add to it by resisting or dwelling on what's gone wrong. Acceptance isn't giving up, it's facing reality. Life's like a river with twists and turns. Accepting this truth brings inner peace, even in tough times. Being ready to accept the worst means building resilience. Setbacks are part of life. They teach us and help us grow. It's about facing challenges with calmness, knowing we can handle them. Accepting the worst not only brings peace, but also shows our strength and potential for growth. Failure isn't something to fear, it's a chance to learn. Buddha said, every day is a new beginning. Embrace failure as a step towards self-improvement. Life's like climbing stairs. Some steps are smooth, others have obstacles. Mistakes are like stumbling on a step. They're opportunities to learn and grow stronger. Just like learning to walk, we get up after falling. Each mistake teaches us, shaping us into wiser individuals. Don't fear failure, it's how we progress in life. Like a sculptor chiseling a masterpiece, our mistakes shape us into better versions of ourselves. So take risks and keep moving forward. Trying new things and accepting failure as a part of growth is crucial. Embrace your mistakes. They're stepping stones to progress. It's not about how many times you fall. It's about getting back up, stronger each time. This journey of personal growth 
starts with facing failure courageously. Keeping it simple brings clarity and peace. Buddha taught that true wisdom lies within, not in complexity. Focus on what truly matters, like tending to flowers that nourish your soul. Simplifying your life creates space for what's essential, prioritizing your values and well-being. Humility is another important principle. Wisdom isn't about talking endlessly. It's about being peaceful, loving, and fearless. Embrace modesty despite your achievements or knowledge. Humility isn't about belittling what you know or what you've achieved. It's about understanding that real wisdom goes beyond talking big. It's showing qualities like peace, love, and bravery in how you act and treat others. When you're humble, you become a living example of wisdom. Picture a wise person, not because they talk fancy or loud, but because they glow with inner peace. They approach others with love, creating genuine bonds. They face challenges fearlessly because humility lets them see beyond their own pride, connecting with everyone around them. Humility leads to true understanding. It encourages listening and learning from others, breaking down barriers of arrogance. It makes room for empathy and kindness to grow. By being humble, you don't just gain wisdom, you become a guiding light for others. Remember, wisdom isn't about how much you talk, it's about how deeply you understand and how humbly you act. Through humility, we truly grasp the world and spread compassion to all living beings. Let's heed Buddha's wisdom about the perils of chasing fortune. He said health is the best gift, contentment is true wealth, and faithful relationships are the greatest bonds. These words guide us to seek fulfillment beyond material gains. In our quest for success, we often forget the fleeting nature of material wealth. Cars, houses, luxuries, they come and go, while they bring temporary joy, they shouldn't be our sole focus. True wealth lies in contentment, finding peace in simple pleasures like smiles, meals shared, and walks in nature. Buddha reminds us that real treasures are found in relationships. Genuine connections bring support, joy, and belonging. So let's be mindful of becoming too attached to possessions. Let's cherish our health, find contentment, and nurture faithful bonds. These teachings offer profound guidance for life's complexities. They show us the path to wisdom and inner peace. As you go about your days, may they inspire and strengthen you. They're not just ideas. They're practical tools for your journey. By embracing these teachings, you can find purpose, serenity, and deeper self-understanding. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. May your days ahead be filled with clarity, kindness, and the timeless wisdom of Buddha.